Hey what's up guys, Lux here bringing you a new video and today we're going to be taking a look at Lego Batman set 76119 The Batmobile Pursuit of the Joker with 342 pieces and retails for $29.99 USD Now funny thing about this set, this set came out the same year as the 1989 Batmobile 76139 the UCS set as well as the limited edition promotion that came when you bought the UCS Batmobile for what was like $250 so yeah, this was actually the third Batmobile released in 2019. Now, does that necessarily make it any worse? Well, that's what we're here to find out. So anyways, let's get right into it. All right, guys, well, here's the set fully built up in its entirety. But as always, we are first going to be taking a look at the minifigures. So first up here, we have the Dark Knight himself, Batman. Given that it's a Batman set, you obviously would expect that a Batman would be included. And that they do. Now, this is for the time of 2019. This was a newer Batman print at least for the torso and it's a pretty good one i think it's based on the new 52 no wait it's based on the rebirth outfit yeah that's the one but besides that this is your typical batman we begin batman's forever now the, obviously the newer cow piece and if we look under the cow here we get to see that obviously we get the batman expression so here he is looking quite mean quite focused on whatever he's doing back here he looks more confident more relaxed now you can argue this is a reference to Snyder's Batman because he typically wears goggles quite often at least in the nightmare sequence but this one but I just think Lego is taking liberty in trying to make the face of Batman underneath the cowl look a bit better and I think they execute that pretty well because in the past they would just have a white line going across his forehead and it would look like somewhat of a sweatband and it didn't really make sense when you have the cowl off and here it, their goggles they make sense i mean you can see batman having tactical goggles or at least it makes a bit more sense than just having a sweatband on now the skin tone as you saw earlier it's not the best lego is still having trouble printing on darker faces it's a bit better now at least in this figure in particular but it's nowhere near what it used to be besides that he has his cape the very soft material so you know you don't gotta worry about it bending and he comes with a battering accessories. So yeah, pretty standard figure, what you would expect from a Batman set. And not anything too insane, because you could have gotten this figure from the other sets of the wave. Anyways, moving on. Next up here, we have the Joker. Now, on the site called Batmobile Pursuit of Joker, I would be upset. It, it wasn't included here, but we don't got to worry about that. We get him here, and this is a pretty standard Joker. We got the same hair piece of same facial expression that we've been getting for a while now. But his torso print, similar to Batman's, was new. For the time, this is very similar of an outfit that he had in the LEGO DC Super Villains game that came out. Besides a few missing features like the arm printing and a missing Joker card in his pocket, this is pretty much straight out of the video game. So that's a pretty neat little reference there. This comes with a silver stud shooter with a green stud at the end of it, obviously trying to represent like the poisonous stuff that the Joker uses. Obviously, you guys know how this works. If you've ever seen a stud shooter before, you press down on it, shoots a stud. Incredible, incredible. Who wants a more realistic weapon when you can have a stud shooter, am I right? Anyways, that's pretty much the Joker. Pretty nice figure, like the little reference here. Different outfits, and yeah, moving on. Alright, now we're done looking at the minifigures, let's take a look at the build. Moving these guys out of the way. We can take a closer look at the Batmobile here, and how it's built up, what features it has, and all the good stuff. Now taking a look at the set, how it's presented here, you can tell that there's a close resemblance to the 1989 Batmobile or the Tim Burton Batmobile. The shaping, the overall design, while not exactly the same, still very much the build of it is very closely resembling that with the driver's seat here and this very smooth looking front of the Batmobile here. Obviously it's not an exact replica, but any fan can definitely figure out what it's trying to reference here. Now let's take a look at the build a bit closer. So obviously starting up in the front, you got the lights here. You can see that these yellow pieces are meant to represent headlights, obviously. Now, I don't know too much about cars, so you forgive my naiveness here. If we look underneath this bat shield piece, we can see a little bit of an engine just laying down there. Obviously, this bat piece is included with a bunch of other bat pieces that they like to scatter in sets nowadays. Very neat pieces. Obviously, Batman's a popular character, so I guess they can get away with making exclusive pieces for him. Especially when they make vehicles about him in every single wave. Not that I'm complaining here. Obviously in the rims you can see the little bat logo, the symbol, right there going around in circles. On the side here there's actually a hidden gun feature and you can't see them when you're looking forward or you can bring them out. Uh, 
the only bad part about it is that they're stud shooters so you know they don't really look too good but you can always detach it if you feel like and just put this away and it'll look fairly normal the only good thing about the fact that these are stud shooters is that it matches the tone or color theme of this set as a whole so even if you hide them here it doesn't look too noticeable you can pass it off as another engine piece but you do with that as you will here you can see a bit more of that engine design a little bit of a pipe going through obviously a little bit of detail down there back here we got the tire again just smoothly continuing on this pattern as well as they can in this smallest scale we got a few bat wings here for the back of the car obviously giving that aesthetic of hey this is a batman vehicle a little flashy for my taste but hey it gets the point across and it can easily be detached whenever you wish so really it's just a little addition to the vehicle if you want to see it that way in the driver's seat area this can detach very easily and you can see the interior we got a little bit of a printed piece there that looks like something you would typically find in a vehicle or car such as this we got the steering wheel and the seat here nice red seat wish they covered this up these studs in there I feel like that would have completed the interior to make it look really good but hey what are you gonna do most of the time you're not gonna be seeing this especially if you put it on display so no harm done you can put Batman in there obviously but no accessory in his hand and in a sitting down position you can plop him in there right there connect to the two studs at the bottom close this up and he fits like a glove obviously you can get a little bit of the cape poking out on the sides you can obviously just tuck the cape in there a bit better I just put him in there like nothing so yeah he fits you can see him through the window there very nice here only seats one but hey that's to expect with a vehicle like this and if you want to attach him just pull him out very easily given that he's not stuck there because they only use two studs it's a nice and smooth process back here you have a little bit of an engine just as detail it's covered up quite nicely with the roof of the car we went over the wings already back here back here you can see a little bit more detail with these grill pieces just trying to give that smooth look as good as it can with this scale back here we got the thruster which is spinning out fire we'll take a closer look at that right now we got some lights in the back we got these gun pieces which are used pretty well here as just engines or tubing whatever you want to call it again not a car expert but the only nice feature with this set is if you drive this car around the back engine here is also going to move the flame piece so that's a nice little addition there definitely can see people getting a lot of play out of this mainly kids obviously but still a nice little addition to add unnecessary they could have gone with just putting a flame piece and be over with but the fact that they make this move it means that they went the extra mile and I can appreciate that and you can always attach this in case you don't want that flame piece and it'll look like a just a regular old Batmobile without obviously the thruster going off all right guys that is pretty much it for this set now for being one of the three Batmobiles released in the same year and not being exclusive or a UCS set with a grand amount of detail this still is a pretty good set this is obviously the, the most affordable out of the three released that year but it still holds its own with being a really good model different enough from the Tim Burton Batmobile or 1989 Batmobile which the other two Batmobiles were trying to represent a lot more in the forefront this one obviously very much a reference to that very much copies a lot of designs from it but also adds a few things that makes it a little bit more different so still looks cool still looks neat still you can pass it off as a 1989 Batmobile or just a very similar looking one with its own different little touches here and there but anyways guys hope you enjoyed for $29.99 USD I definitely recommend this set if you don't have a Batmobile at all this is actually my first one I don't think I yeah I don't own a Batmobile of any kind yet so I'm glad I could own this one you can probably find it cheaper in some stores depending on your region because it's been out since 2019 definitely recommend getting this set if you're gonna get any Batmobile at an affordable price it's probably near the end of its life cycle here soon so try to get one if you can but but if not entirely up to you I myself am happy to have picked up this set and at the end of the day I think it came out pretty good but anyways guys hope you enjoyed subscribe if you're new tell me what you think down below do you own this do you not what do you think about it and all of the above anyways guys hope you have a good rest of your day and I'll see you next time goodbye